advantage of our role is that we can um, use um, our investments to trigger change. It's not just investing your money, but it's also really using that money to address a certain topic. The issues of Palmo are quite quite big, right? So um, I think when we sort of started looking at this issue, it was basically we got a lot of questions from NGOs. Um, and we didn't have an approach towards Palmo three years ago. I think that local CSOs have a very powerful role in sort of information, providing information um, from the ground. And I think that we should also, as financial institutions, be open to that conversation. I think that's uh, also the that we find extremely helpful, for instance, is when uh, a local organization that works on the ground with stakeholders is, is sort of flagging a certain issue to us. We've set up an engagement process for Palmo specifically. We identify Palmo growers, then we have the mills, then we have the traders, and, and we also look at the retail companies so that buy basically the Palmo from the trader. Um, and I think that's sort of the, the, the whole supply chain that we looked at and that we developed a policy around. This year is where we started including banks as well, especially regional banks that invest in the power industries. We often need sort of a middleman to help us out and that's where IECN for instance came in or uh, WWF also has a role in that, is to make sure that sort of that information reaches us. In the end we have the same goal as the CSO or the, the NGO in that sense, is to really make sure that the palm oil industry becomes more sustainable.